what's poppin everybody it's your girl talitha welcome or welcome back to my channel happy sunday happy happy let's go to church day <laughs> i just left church it was a casual dress down so you know everyone had on like their nuggets gear because you know i'm in denver and the Nuggets are in the playoffs. But I'm like, I'm gonna rep my man. Mr. Aubrey Drake Graham, look at this. The back of this jersey, Drake, and you got the six on it. I'm only gonna wear this to his concert <laughs> in September. But um, it is like three o'clock. 320. Me, Tabitha, and Neptune are going over to Neptune's house to get tattoos. Our tattoo artist is coming to do like a little house call, a little price session, you know. I don't even know what I want to be honest with you. Really, all my tattoos are very like intentional and well thought out, but I'm like, I don't know. I kind of just, I kind of just want it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go last probably because I still don't even know what I want and I want to like make sure I pick something that has meaning. Yeah, I'm gonna change because I definitely don't want to wear this. And then we're gonna go. Oh, it's time to do my hair. Y'all, I'm trying to be outside this week because Denver is going up, okay? The Nuggets are one game away from winning the playoffs or winning the, the finals. One game away from winning the finals. I don't claim Denver. I don't like it here. But if it's a party, it's a party it's a party you know like why not here is the tattoo outfit i'm wearing my savage x fenty like lounge set real cute i put on my little bubble slides cute i forgot i had these it's crazy because i was wearing these in like 2020 when they first emerged and people were like those shoes are so ugly why did you wear that and now look first they came for me and now they copy me but it's okay i'm not mad i'm not mad you know and that's why i it's safe to say Talitha Jane is iconic because I did it before it was a trend. Yeah, I'm on to the next, okay? The things I'm doing right now will resurface in a year. And I can say that confidently. And I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. But I need a hoodie. It's, it's the middle of the summer. Um, do I need anything else? No. Okay. Let's go. So we're starting the tattoos. And I didn't tell y'all, but Theo, my little brother, he came and it's his first tattoo and he's getting it on his neck. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm feeling great. <laughs> feeling good, feeling great? Feeling great. I feel like it's not gonna hurt me. Well, We're gonna find out. Oh, that's gonna be hard. It yeah. ain't gonna feel like a haircut. <laughs> you should make sure. You ready? It was at this moment he knew. He f***ed up. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. <laughs> what is that? Is that edible? No, CBD. Oh, <laughs> you on? Yeah. <gasps> it's CBD. Mm -hmm. Please. CBD can I put this? Can I put yeah, CBD I don't know. on? Weed. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. It's gonna make him move. Can you show CBD on YouTube? Am I gonna? Be, I can't get demonetized. <laughs> this is my. I mean, you can't get high. My jazz. It's just like relaxation. It's a good time. It's a good time. This is my second one. Is that why you look like you were sleeping? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You got fruit snacks? <laughs> we are making. You put the <laughs> you put boots on. <laughs> We're making a, a boba run. We're at snow. A snow. <laughs> I don't touch doors around him. <laughs> You want to say anything to the vlog? Stream Shadow <laughs> and watch the music video. I'm going to link the music video down below. But if you want Neptune to make a YouTube channel, stream his video. Okay. Stream his Price video. Five point six right now. That's crazy. Yeah, run it up. Anything else you want to say? Continue to watch this YouTube channel. <laughs> Are you vlogging? I am now. Yeah, I feel good. Oh, Smokey, that looks really good. Y'all, they got me out here producing. Well, it was a choice. I produced something, like, musically, for the first time. That dog is so cute. I want to take him home. That's so dope. You got a toupee on your head. Amazing. Can't copyright it. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Y
yeah, the first person to rap on this beat. Uh, swear to God to leave the bass on heat. <laughs> you said above it. Yeah, but like still in there. I wanted it above, but now I don't know because it won't look right. Okay, there we go. Hi. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I want to kill my mom. Okay. My you got him over boy. here. That's in the stencil. Love. I want to kill my grandma. I want to kill my grandma. What your grandma do? Birthed his mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my camera's about to die. Come here. Not this moth. You want me to kill him? Let me catch it. Let me catch it. Let me catch it. Wow. Oh, fuck. Sit so your ass down. I just opened his knee. Later. I am finally home. It is literally almost four in the morning. Um, yeah, 3.53 in the morning. I'm so tired. <laughs> so tired. But the tattoos turned out really cute. Hopefully, stay. I have it behind my ear, blessed in Chinese. I got it on my hand. Cause I don't know, I just wanted a hand tattoo. I think they're so pretty if they're done right. So, you know, you know, now I feel like I need to get my nails done or at least do my nails cause they look kind of crispy. Crazy enough backstory for this tattoo. When I was in college and I was like transitioning from being in school to doing social media full time, I would see the number 34 literally everywhere. Like that was the number I feel like God was telling me like, hey, it's time to move on time to grow and I think 34 is a number of change and growth and just elevation and it has such a significance to me I know that when I see it I feel like God is just around me and I feel like that's that's what that number means to me so I have it in Roman numerals on my arm but I also got it again Ooh, don't fall right here the innard of my ankle yeah this painful like painful oh my goodness and honestly every time i get a tattoo i say i'm done getting tattoos after i get them with this tattoo session i literally did not know what i was getting up until it was my turn to go so <laughs> i feel like that being said i should probably slow down because i don't want to get something tatted on me that i do not like you know because tattoos are permanent for the most part and you know i'm very intentional and i want all of my pieces to have meaning and significance so i'm probably gonna chill on the tattoos and piercings because like what else can i get pierced what else can I get tattooed? I feel like I've done it all. I have like 16 piercings and I don't even know how many tattoos I have. So I kind of am finito with that. But being that it's going on at four in the morning, I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see y'all tomorrow. The next day. This is the most intense basketball game. Y'all, if the Nuggets win this, it's a wrap. Cause who's from Denver? <laughs> it's like the Jane. Granted, I'm trying to leave, but it's still my city though. <laughs> going up on a Tuesday well it will be Tuesday when we come home so the Nuggets won the NBA Finals and as Denver's self-proclaimed social media queen I'm popping out because I feel like I have to you know and I don't go out often I say I don't go out I pop out so when I pop out the pop has to be hard retweet <laughs> first we're gonna do my hair because we can't wear the gym hair in public. We can, but I'm not going to. Oh my gosh, it's so humbling being out in a club, in a section with Bryson Tiller and you have no makeup on. That'll humble you real quickly. This is the gym wig. We have different wigs for different occasions. Different strokes for different folks. Different hair for different flair. Yeah. Yeah, you're fine, go ahead. <laughs> Did you find what you wanted? I got some options. <laughs> Go shopping in Talitha's closet. We'll see. Live, laugh, love, BTS. <laughs> Live, laugh, love, BTS. You know, I feel like if you carry yourself correctly, 
You can walk into any room you want to. No, the confidence speaks for itself. I act like I belong there. So therefore I belong there, you know? Confidence and delusion will get you so far in life, I swear. I'm on like a glueless wig kick. This is the problem I have with glueless wigs. Snatch, it's a snatch and go. Like if someone really wanted to, they could come for my entire scalp. And I'm like, girl, please don't. Like, please, please. This is, y'all, it's going up tonight. Like, it's going up, 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 and I'm so excited. I am filming this video for TikTok. You probably kind of caught on. So if I'm looking over there, that's why. Gotta give the girls content. Even though I feel like I'm underappreciated as a social media influencer, that just comes with being a black woman. But you know, I'ma still do it. I'ma still do it, because I love what I do and do. Oh my gosh, y'all. So I produced my first beat yesterday. Y'all saw it in the tattoo vlog. I really, okay, I always say I don't have a hobby because my hobby of social media became my job. And I really don't have hobbies. Like my hobbies were social media and working out. One of my hobbies became my job. The other hobby became a lifestyle. So it's like, that's really all I do. So I think music production is gonna be my hobby. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be like selling beats and working with artists and stuff. It's really just a pastime for now. But, and it's a big but, just got hit with the plans. I got the moves. But um, we'll see where it goes. I don't know, just for fun. Cause baby, for my first beat production, it went kind of crazy. Like, let me not, I'm gonna start producing, I think music for my vlogs. You know, that way it's not copyright. Yeah, let's leave it just like this. I'm gonna glue it down, not like, for real, for real. Cause with this wig, it's not like, it's cute, but there's still little things like little flaps and they love to be up. If it's up, then it's stuck, but I'm gonna unstuck it because no, we're not up, I'm up, but the hair is not up. Sorry, all my um, memory card ran out of space. So hair is done. Well, not done, but like I glued it and she's drying. I used a bunch of like actual natural hair products on this wig. Cause usually I just use water. But I'm like, let me try to put some real stuff on it and see if it if it do what I need it to do. Now we're starting the makeup. Um, I already primed my face, which is why it looks kind of light, but it's okay. Hey Siri, play Let's Get Ready playlist on shuffle. Getting glowing cause I hit the water in Jamaica. Here's a toast, who you love the most? I was sent some one size powders and I think we're gonna try one. I'm gonna use the sweet honey I like this no 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 eat it eat it eat it eat it eat it might have to curb you if you just can't talk straight just kicking it spinning it sipping it the makeup is done the hair is done I'm hoping it gets big because I actually put I think I did I say it I don't remember, but I put like my natural hair products in here because I'm like, if it's curly hair, we need to give it the curly hair treatment. So I'm about to change. Um, my dad has this Nuggets um, Chauncey Billups jersey that I'm gonna wear as a dress and I think it'll be cute. I could give like bad bitty vibes. Like, yeah, we already know I could do that. But I wanna kinda pop out in a little Nuggets fit because I don't think a lot of girls are gonna do that. I get invited to these events where I'm surrounded by, I call them BBL baddies, and this is not to bash BBLs at all. But you know like the Instagram baddies who like wear like the Fashion Nova fashion and have like, you know those girls. I don't know what else to say about them and it's not gonna sound mean, but you know what I mean. So I kinda get a little nervous wearing like, first of all, being black. <laughs> <laughs> Being a black woman, a dark skinned black woman in these spaces is already like kind of intimidating because a lot of them are racially ambiguous or mixed and you know, colorism, real thing. And then it's like, we wearing a jersey. <laughs> We're gonna try it on. I think it's really cute, but if I don't like it, we can always switch the outfit up. It's the finished look. It's giving basketball wifey on kinda, kinda sort of but we're about to go. Got missions to make moves that are gonna happen, so. We on an auntie angle. Okay, there we go. Okay. Ooh, that picture was fire. Gosh <laughs> darn it. Not the first shot. That's okay though. I still believe in you. I'm not gonna talk too much because I don't play basketball either. Ooh. 
Oh, this the hood. This the hood net. You see that? That right? The chain net. That's the that's the Park Hill net right there. <laughs> <laughs> You're here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> it just depends. You gotta try. Ah, uh, see, okay. <laughs> in the bathroom right now. In the bathroom. Look at this bathroom, y'all. knows how to treat the ladies. We'll accommodate. We'll say accommodate. <laughs> Later. My battery is about to die. I'm on my way home. It is now 7:25. I had so much fun last night. I had so much fun. Y'all, Tabitha is such a vibe. Like, I really love my sister, and I pray that everyone can have a vibe with it, whether it be a friend, a sibling, a sister, the way that me and Tabitha do. Because, baby, let me tell you something. Tabitha, that's my favorite, okay? And I love her and she's great. It's so fun because like being around all the, the BBL baddies, that's what I call them, they get scared to like enjoy themselves in the presence of like athletes and like people with money. And I'm like, girl, it's, have fun. You know, take a couple shots, take a couple drinks and just vibe out. Like me and Tabitha were on the table. I was calling the table my section and we were having such a fun time like we were literally dancing the entire time and micah popped up i'm like micah what are you here yeah micah was definitely in the cut so i had a lot of fun um i'm not even gonna lie sometimes i let my job get in my head and think like i have to have a certain look in order to be in these places but i don't and that's okay because baby it's play the jane play the jane in the flesh and blood don't play with it so yeah i had so much so much so much so much so much fun with tabitha and micah that was such a fun time i loved it good good time clearly because i'm out until the morning till the manana it's such like a turning point for denver because denver is like low-key trash <laughs> but now we have something going for us so that's really nice it's crazy because i did not plan on doing any of this today like why are you speeding Dude, it's seven in the morning. Where you gotta go? You probably late for work. I get it. Y'all, you know I have fun because my wig is not even, she ain't even laid no more. She looking a little questionable. Today is my lip filler appointment at 2.30. The plan is go in the house, take this off, shower, sleep until like maybe noon. I wanted today to be a content day for Instagram, but I did not plan on being out this, like even if I didn't stay out later, I still wouldn't have gotten home till five in the morning. So I didn't have a chance to plan out any outfits. So honestly, I'm gonna take a shower and see if I'm even feeling like, not the, not the glue, y'all. That's how you know I was having fun. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> I didn't plan any outfits for content. We'll just, we'll just have to do it maybe tomorrow. Mm, yeah, I just feel really behind on Instagram and I don't necessarily, I'm not but i feel like i am but you know whatever whatever it's okay i'm going inside and going to sleep so see you see you soon later Also, the chin, you can really massage a little bit like over the next couple of days. Okay. Um. <laughs> it just caught me off guard a little bit. I'm sorry, baby. It's like a burn. It's, like a, it's a very intense burn mm -hmm. and then it just kind of goes away. I am back from my lip appointment. I didn't get to vlog beforehand just because I was rushing. But we got the lips. Well, not dissolve, dissolve. We're doing it in doses just so that I don't look completely uneven as they go down. So what they use is called Hylinex, Hydrolex, something like that, I don't know. The I got Versa is made with high, oh god, hyaluronic acid, which is something your body produces naturally and it's a filler that your body metabolizes. So people usually go back every six months to a year to get their lips refilled, as they would say. But high, 
hydro whatever the dissolver is that's what breaks down the hyaluronic acid in your lips for the most part she said it takes like about a full day to see them go down um i don't see a difference yet it's been like maybe two hours since i got them done and she said that you'll see it like pretty fast but i don't i can definitely tell they're smaller it's not like anything crazy they don't feel as like hard either so i know that stuff is in there is working i already feel like better about how i look i didn't want to get them completely dissolved because i still want a little some of them and since we are doing it in doses i can always dissolve all of it i could leave a little bit i you know i have like free reign so i will say though getting filler dissolved people said it hurts and i'm like well yeah they're sticking a needle in your lip it's like getting your lips done but no it hurts like it hurts girl it felt like a bee sting in your lip but it only lasted for like three seconds so it wasn't bad but it, it wasn't the best feeling you know i feel like if you can get your lips done you can get them dissolved it definitely hurt more than getting them done i will say that an expensive lesson i learned that if it's not broke don't fix it and our insecurities are what make us different or what make us valuable and what make us unique so embrace them somewhere between embrace the insecurities and if you want to change it change it because i feel like your body is one of the things you have the power to change so i see nothing wrong with it if you're doing it for the right reasons of course we are going down coming off the mountain <laughs> okay side note i also want to say um in that last clip don't mind my wig because i'm not gluing it down like i'm not i'm not doing anything why would i glue it down you know like i'm at home well technically y'all are seeing this so don't judge me but like we're family okay so don't come for my lace because i'm aware it'd be different if i was delusional but i'm not so don't play with me is this part right here is this one part that just loves to stay up like you're supposed to be glueless why aren't you staying down no comprende i don't get it i don't get it <coughs> hello everyone it's wednesday it's 3 38 i am taking pictures because I haven't posted on Instagram in like forever and I don't like that for us. But last night I planned out the outfits. Flashback. Right now I am trying on outfits for content and it's crazy because I had some ideas planned but then I started like stealing things from other outfits and putting them into this outfit and now I only have one outfit instead of like two very rough ideas but it's okay. It's okay. Well, the first fit is like this. Someone sent this to the P.O. Box, this um, shirt. And then we have on this cargo skirt from Amazon. I'm gonna do a TikTok um, haul of cargo skirts. It runs extremely small, so like my entire leg is out. But you know I'm not opposed to that, it's okay. I paired it with the orange Rick Owens, this bag from Fashion Nova, per. <laughs> and then of course the Lorbe. You know, gotta, gotta plug the Lorve, the Lorvizis, you, you got to. And then I have like hella gold jewelry on. What I like to do when I take pictures is planning out my outfits. I take, cause a lot of times I end up changing in the car. So I like to take pictures of how I have my jewelry. So that way, when I change, I can look at the picture and see which rings go on which finger, which necklaces go in which order and all that kind of stuff. But now I'm gonna try to figure out another outfit because i want to do at least two me and this wig are like beefing right now <laughs> i'm gonna fix it but here's the second outfit it kind of i like i like it maybe i'm just being kind of hard on myself but when it comes to my instagram i always want to like push what i know i'm capable of doing so like this outfit's cute i don't know i just feel like i could i could do better but i'm still gonna shoot it and we'll see what happens so we have the cargo skirt another cargo skirt that's like my thing right now it has a slit but it's low-key too high so i'm gonna like either pin it or sew it denim boots that i bought in dallas this denim purse that matches like literally perfect just like chrome jewelry which i think will be really cute and if i pose correctly just like give a little leg a little boot action i feel like it could turn out really cute if i do it right it is 107 in the morning and i literally slept for two hours last night so i'm gonna go to bed and i will see y'all tomorrow with the pictures and a flashback
30 just about finished taking pictures that outfit was not it's cute but i don't know it's not my favorite i'm gonna have to look at the pictures and see how they turned out i want to post them but i'm always like i know i can do better especially with fashion because i'm trying to give the girls a lip so right now i'm going to the gym um low key my body pump class starts at five and my gps says i'll get there at 502 which is not i don't like that so i'm gonna try to speed a little bit just a little bit you know try to get there a little faster <laughs> i worked out then i went to bible study and now i'm at target everyone so today's saturday i kind of took a break from vlogging just for this week because y'all sunday monday wednesday wait girl sunday monday tuesday i was active okay i was doing so much i didn't even think i was gonna be doing all that thursday friday i think <laughs> i just you know spent time with my friend i just chilled um did a lot of why you look like that yeah know your place did a lot of content for tiktok filmed a whole bunch of tiktok videos filmed reels and just kind of like catching up on other aspects of my life outside of vlogging um before anyone asks how sleep does mental health it's better than what it was we're still growing um definitely had a very difficult conversation with my best friend on wednesday and she very respectfully put me in my place and it kind of shifted a lot i'll talk about it later but um i'm about to go in the gym I'm trying to do like a quick little one hour maybe hour and a half workout i want to take more pictures today um just because i've been slacking on instagram we have not been present and i don't like that for us so we're gonna do a quick workout take some pictures it's actually nice today it's not raining so i'm gonna be outside a whole bunch of juneteenth celebrations are going on and i kind of want to go out but i'm gonna be responsible and stay home and edit love that for us but yeah let's go in the gym let's do it let's do it let's do it let's do it I um, left the gym every time I go to the gym I look so sweaty sorry <laughs> every time I go to the gym there's this guy in the corner who sells like he's been selling nuggets stuff since they went to the playoffs and I'm like I think I want to buy something and I only wanted a jersey and now that I see jerseys I'm gonna get one but I just don't know which player oh I think I'm gonna get a Jokic jersey because he low-key kind of cold with it so we're gonna see what he has I ended up getting Mr. Jamal, Jamal Murray. Um, I got it so that I could wear it as a dress if I wanted to, because y'all know I love my dresses. Or I could always like hit one of these, wear it as a shirt. I could tuck it, crop it. You know, versatility. Versatility is my middle name. And then I also got this t-shirt, which honestly I could have made myself because I know how to screen print. But you know, support brown businesses i guess now i am i'm gonna take pictures i wasn't gonna do my makeup just because i didn't think i'd have time but if i do it in 20 minutes we'll have time because i want to do like i haven't done golden hour pictures in forever because it's been rainy and i've just been vibing with the indoor locations recently but now we gonna switch it up we gonna be in the streets um do i want to do makeup yes I don't, but I'm going to because I want to film a story time for TikTok, so I'm going to do it. Hehe. <laughs> Here's the finished makeup. I'm redoing the look with the, the gray cargo skirt. I saw this picture on Instagram of Karen. She's so bad. And I'm like, inspiration has struck. So that's what I'm going for. It's definitely different, but I kind of like it. I'm not, I'm not mad at it. As for the story time, I'll link the TikTok in the description box in case you guys want to watch it. Um, y'all already kind of know what it is with that whole situation. Fake happy if that's not how I'm feeling right now. Yesterday I got like 
a very like heartbreaking text message and I um I might just I don't know it's still up in the air I don't want to relive that again so I don't want to have to edit it twice so if you want to watch it and kind of get the tea as to why I was crying in the hotel room yeah that's why but I'm gonna go it is 7 09 I wanted to leave at 6 45 so I'm kind of late but we're gonna go I'm sure I was gonna go downtown but because I want to catch sunlight I think I'm gonna just stay in the neighborhood and go to my my little hidden spots around around the block <laughs> okay just pulled up to my spot there's like a bunch of warehouses kind of where about cut kind of whereby I live and they just have really cute like plain backgrounds stuff that like will help the outfit pop so that's where I'm at and I'm mad because I was trying to time it with the sun and now there's like a huge cloud like baby please move but you know I'll make it work because I always do That did not go as planned at all. I don't know. I may or may not post these Sunday, the day you're watching this, so we'll see. But they're cute, but it's not like what it was in my head. And I, I think it was the lighting over here because it just... It, I have, I've taken pictures over here before, so I don't understand what the problem was. Maybe it was the skirt color was too close to the color of the background. I don't know, but like... Maybe I'm just being hard on myself. I'm just gonna call it a day. And then the second outfit I bought, I'm just gonna save it for next week. Um, I'm trying to get my hair done, so maybe that'll be a determining factor because I'm like over this, over this wig. As an influencer, if you saw all the times I took pictures and didn't post them, crazy, 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 crazy. We are back home. I have to finish the video with the shout out again if you're new here first of all thank you for watching second of all if you comment the green heart on my instagram and save the post you can win a shout out for me and it's just to show my love my appreciation my um gratitude i need a third word because everything in threes just for you guys i don't know something small that i can do at the end of every video and that first shout out is going to nikki 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 you're cute you're real cute absolutely this outfit is fire i want to try that aesthetic but i don't think it will look good on me the second shout out is going to excuse underscore my fitness annie marie i could tell because the body is bodying you look amazing i swear i'd be in the gym but my problem is i don't eat that healthy the third and final shout out is going to the corks life Ooh, not the bang that's that's a look you honestly based on your instagram you look like you just live in life to what are they doing up there? You just look like you live in life, okay? Like, life isn't living you, you are living it, and you are very present, and I love that for you. Thanks for watching the vlogs. I love you guys, and I appreciate all your support, and you just watching me do nonsense for 30 minutes straight, it's okay. Cause we're in it like, we're in there like swimwear. I love you guys, and I'll see you Sunday. I forgot what days I upload, get it together. Peace out.